How do you think the world perceives you? Chapter 23 in Stephen Schusler's book, It's a Jungle in There, is titled Managing Perception for Maximum Impact. And the quote of the chapter is by an unknown English author. It says, All the world's a stage. How do you wish to be seen by your audience? Now, there's a lot of perception that can go on, and a lot of it is based on, you know, how you're going to act. Are you going to be, you know, in the whole idea of faking it until you make it? You know, is it going to be something that's visible? Is it something that's noticeable? Or is it going to be something that people would never have a clue on that you're so, you know, adept at, you know, actually getting through what you need to do that they wouldn't really have a clue that you really don't know what you're doing yet? You know, again, that fake it till you make it, you know, sometimes it's good to try to do that, but other times it might not be very beneficial. It might actually be more appropriate to let people know straight from the cuff that you don't understand everything, but you can find that answer out. So, for example, you know, if you're looking to get someone to come into with you or come in with you into business, and you know they have all these questions, you could come up with the idea of, you know, you're right. I I don't have that answer right now, but if I found it out, you know, would that be you know the thing that's willing to make you take that next step and get registered or to get signed up? or to get enrolled or you know if I if I found the answer out would you be ready to take the next step to get enrolled you know so something on that lines you want to perceive that you you know that you're still confident in yourself even though you might not know all the answers okay that's the key thing I don't physically know all the answers but I'll do whatever I can to research it and find it out okay maybe I have to stay up all night or miss a TV show you know or maybe watch a TV show at the same time as I got my computer on my lap I'll do whatever it takes to help you out and to find the research so that I can be trained and I can, you know, continue to have that leadership role. So the self-examining question here is, do you ever purposely behave in a specific manner to influence how another person will perceive you? Now, again, do you sugarcoat stuff? Do you make stuff up? Are you the same person, you know, on the computer as you are in the real world? You know, when you're actually meeting people at a conference, do you come across the same way in your emails, you know, as you do as your video emails? Um, you know, again, it's one of those things you might want to try to have someone review your emails. You might want to have someone review or, you know, overview, do, excuse me, do an overview of your video emails and your videos as well, because you might not necessarily uh, view the way that you're coming off of uh, in a video as, as a nice person as someone else would. Maybe someone thinks I'm a jerk. I don't know. You know, hopefully someone would tell me that and let me know so that, you know, I can maybe try to become a better person. Maybe you think I'm great. That's great. Let me know. Again, if I'm doing the right thing, help me out and tell me what's going on. You know, I can argue with my students. I can argue with my players, but I can also continue to give them the knowledge that they need to become a better student or to become a better player. Okay, I want to do the same thing with my children. I want them to grow up to be young, uh, good adults and young women, and to be you know wonderful characters in life. You know that to do things and to establish themselves, and to perceive you know have people perceive that they are great characters and that they would be a person that they'd want to have uh, on their team and to work with. So uh, again, you want to get great perception to have maximum impact with people. And this has been Dave Gardner.